And a warm welcome on what is a fine day for football. I'm delighted to be able to report. I'm Derek Ray, getting ready to bring you all the action, accompanied by my broadcasting partner, Stuart Robson. And a lot to be excited about, because coming up for you, action from Liga. It's Strasbourg against Paris Saint-Germain. Well, thanks, Derek, as always. The scene is set, two good teams, a great playing surface, and a vibrant atmosphere. It has all the ingredients for a really exciting game. <laughs> And here's how Strasbourg will line up. Well, it's a defensive looking lineup, but if the wing backs break forward, the midfield can get close to the front pair, and the front two can link up with each other, they should still cause problems today. And the PSG team looks like this. Gianluigi Donnarumma is the keeper. Sergio Ramos plays alongside Marquinhos in central defence. Fabian plays alongside Marco Verratti in the engine room. And in attack today, Kylian Mbappe starts with Lionel Messi. Potentially exciting match in store, and it's Paris Saint Germain who kick off. Verratti. Aholu. Jean Rickner Bellegarde. He read the situation defensively and did his job. Fabian. Well, I think most other sides ought to be looking at PSG's formidable away record with a feeling of envy, Stuart. Well, 13 wins from 17 away games is magnificent. It's their ability to defend all over the pitch that's really impressed me most. Setting traps, stopping the opposition playing forward, not letting crosses come into their box. You name it, their defending has been brilliant. Kylian Mbappe. Intercepting it intelligently. And the decision is offside. A lack of awareness that time, maybe. Well, a lack of awareness or slightly selfish. I'm not sure. Verratti. Mbappe with it. Oh, a nice looking pass. Aholu. Excellent challenge from Danilo Pereira there. Oh, a perfectly timed pass. And fine goalkeeping. And the short option preferred. Oh, a powerful effort. Close. Retaining possession proving difficult. Verratti. 
Now with Messi. Attacking possibilities for PSG. Well, he's lost it. Well, as the stats tell us, PSG have dominated the ball in the last 15 minutes and they're playing really well and creating chances. It's surely only a matter of time before they take the lead here. Excellent ball over the top, but mistimed his run. Well, he's got the timing all wrong there. He just needs to bide his time. Fabian back to Fabian well that's how to keep the opposition at bay oh lovely ball well that's going to go down as offside well he couldn't quite release it quickly enough and the flag went up Setting off perhaps a little bit too much here. Messi. Real chance. And into the back of the net. Well, they've paid the price for their negligence. They let them come at them. And now it's a different equation. Well, just look at his strength here. He holds off the challenge. He keeps his balance and he finds the back of the net. It's a wonderful goal. again with the score line standing at 1-0 Aholu well they stopped them in their tracks Ferreira wonderfully weighted pass but it looked as though he might be on to something, but his timing left a bit to be desired. Yeah, that's frustrating, because he's just been too impatient there. He doesn't need to make his movement quite so early. Well read to win possession back. Well, inching towards half-time, and probably fair to say the fans were hoping for a little bit better than this. Stuart, your thoughts? Well, it's been a tight first half so far, but they haven't quite shown enough guile in the attacking third. If, however, they can be more dynamic in the 1v1 situations, they have the quality to turn this around. In position! Oh, the keeper made it look routine. It was anything but. Well, they've won themselves a corner, and a chance perhaps to add an additional goal for security. Fired over by Messi, and he clears the danger. Fabian, Mukiele, and back with Danilo Pereira. But a crucial intervention inside the box. Corner given to PSG. They're going for the short one. Inside he goes. Well, the half-time whistle is sounded. So far, so good for PSG. Not that that's any great shock, taking into account their fine away record. Well, once again, away from home, they've been very good. And it all starts with a positive attitude. 
right from the start. They looked to take control of possession and dictated the flow of the match. It's going to make for an interesting second half. And the match is underway. Oh, a perfectly timed pass. And fine goalkeeping. Oh, a powerful effort. Close. Messi. for their negligence they let them come at them and now in position oh the keeper made it look routine it was anything but Well, as they get the ball rolling again, interesting to see how the second half pans out. Out of play, PSG throw in forthcoming. Substitution it is for PSG. Marco Verratti, Vitor Ferreira, here's Mbappe, not what he was intending, bad pass. Gamera, Sanson, possession changing hands. Vitor Ferreira. Messi. Here's Mbappe. Mbappe! And a decent save. Full credit. PSG are going to switch things around on the personnel front. Keen to take it short here. Out of play for a Paris Saint-Germain throw-in. Messi. It needs an accurate cross. So a half an hour remaining. Opportunity in the wide area. And with that, the attack fizzles out. And with play stop, they will make the change now. Who can he pick out? Well, the keeper made that look relatively easy. In truth, it wasn't. Marquinhos. Kylian Mbappe. Opportunity it is. And a goalkeeper on top of his game. Well, it's great goalkeeping. What a big save that is. So making the substitution now. Favouring the short one. And Renato Sanchez with it now. Can they stop it going in? Well, he stumped it out of there without much fuss. Well, what a great save that was to keep them in this. May just be the impetus they need. 
as they certainly haven't been at their best today. Well, on the back of that breathtaking piece of goalkeeping, can they keep the ball and create? Taking care of business defensively here. And they know they need to stop him. And will it be the leveller? And keeping it out. Well, it's been a while, but these fans are now coming to life. Can they equalise here? And over comes the corner. They must clear their lines quickly. Marquinhos. Soler. Lionel Messi. He's in here. things for them two in front well here it is again and the keeper's lost his concentration here he's totally in the wrong position he'll be disappointed with that back on the way GQ determined defending Lionel Messi well it comes down to the final five minutes offside close one so deciding to make a personnel change at this juncture. It will be a Paris Saint-Germain free kick. And the referee deciding to admonish him, but not book him. I think that's good refereeing. It's a foul, but no more than that. A glorious chance. What a big chance that was. Keeper has the ball. We've been waiting to find out. Now we know a minimum of three added minutes here. Poor pass under no real pressure. Veering in field here. But it fizzles out thanks to that piece of defending. And that will be all. Three points for PSG. That's the good news for their fans around the world. Your assessment. Well, that was another excellent away performance. They played out from the back without taking risks. They controlled the midfield and the front players were so sharp. That was a really good win today. And now they get the ball rolling. Oh, a perfectly timed pass. And fine goalkeeping. Oh, a power. 
powerful effort. Close. Messi. And into the back of the net. Well, they paid the price for their negligence. They let them come at them. And in position. Oh, the keeper made it look routine. It was anything but. Messi. Here's Mbappe. Mbappe! And a decent save. Full credit. PSG are going to switch things. Opportunity it is. And a goalkeeper on top of his game. Well, it's great goalkeeping. What a big save that is. And will it be the leveller? Well, it's been a while, but these fans are now coming to life. Can they? Lionel Messi. He's in here. And a goal to really bolster things for them. Two in front.